think my whole life I've struggled with fear. And it manifested itself in many different ways in my heart, mind, and soul over the years, but it was something that was very present to me. A lot of my fear came from my own story. It was a fear facing my own story. My story has a lot of broken chapters in it, probably like yours does as well. And some of the broken chapters have to do with me being adopted as an infant and when I was a little bit older than that, as still a little girl being sexually abused and then having an addiction, a severe addiction after that. And for many years, my life was tremendously broken. And I entered religious life and I thought that all those things would go away, but there was something in me, this deep fear that if you saw the depths of my heart, if you saw who I really was, there's no way that you could love somebody like me. And so fear had dominated my life and it made me run and it made me hide and it kept me hidden in a lot of deep shame. And even though I knew that I was made for something more, this overlying blanket of fear would kind of spread itself over my heart and in my life. But in my heart and my life, I knew that I didn't want to live like that. I knew that I was aching for something so much more. And I remember the day that my life changed because it was well over 12 years ago and I was sitting in adoration with the Lord and I just said, I can't, I can't go on like this. There's something is not right. And I was so afraid to even admit that. But finally, when I admitted it, something opened in my heart. And I remember the next step for me was I picked up a self-help book from Barnes and Noble. <laughs> and I just began this journey of kind of like, what's, what's going on with my life? And it was really a journey of getting acquainted with my own story and telling my own story. From that point, it went from reading a book, a self-help book, to finally telling somebody the things that had happened to me. And so it's been this long journey that uh, started over 12 years ago, but a journey that still takes place to this very moment, even as I sit here. I wouldn't wish the sorrowful chapters of my story on anybody, but I wouldn't change them for anything. And when I experience fear, I allow God to come and encounter it and speak the story and speak the truth and allow his love to come and find me. And that's really what we're all looking for.